some drip of something else in there. Roderick, okay, so you saw everyone commenting on you, and all of them said that you were African American. What nationality are you? I am mixed with black and Mexican. Black and Mexican, mm -hmm. okay. And when um, they were saying that you were all black, what did that make you feel like? That actually made me feel good because my father is black and my mother is Mexican, but I don't ever want to be called Mexican. I typically, I, I really don't like those type of people or, and I feel like they lack social etiquette. Like... Like one thing that they do that really disturbs me is graffiti. Like we don't even dirty this country and this isn't their country to make dirty. And that's something I really don't appreciate and I don't want to be, I don't want to derive from that. Is there anybody that is Mexican or of Latin descent that wants to talk to Roderick? Stand on up. Hi, I'm, my name is Jolauri. I'm half Mexican, half Dominican. And honestly, I don't appreciate your comments because peop, you cannot judge people by their race or where they're from, but by their own personality. You cannot say that people, because they're Mexican, they make graffiti. He's Mexican. Let's not exactly. forget. You should not say that. And also, graffiti can be made by anyone. So, yeah. That shouldn't be. Anybody else want to say something? Why don't you go on over? I don't understand where that comes from. I'm half German, half Puerto Rican, and I'm quite light. So I get from both ends. I get, you know, people calling me Nazi and Spick at the same time. And it hurts. And why are you hurting yourself? You're only hurting yourself and your people by saying that instead of saying there's graffiti everywhere and everything else, why don't you try to get involved with your community and try to get a bigger, you know, sands and clean up the streets that you find something so wrong with that. And, 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 and you're saying that your mother is, is, your mother is Mexican. So when you look at your mother, what do you think? I've never really seen my mother as Mexican because she raised me. I just seen her as somebody that I love. And I think because of that, I never really seen her or my dad as two separate races. I just seen them as the people who raised me. Okay, and then what about your grandmother? Like, you have a Mexican grandmother, I know, right? Yes. What about her? Um, if we're out with her, I, I don't really stray. I stray too far because I'm embarrassed to be around them. Because one of the reasons is she doesn't speak English, and it's embarrassing when people can't communicate with her. And she dresses like a typical immigrant would, like, you know, they'll wear like a tacky polka dot shirt, some nasty plaid skirt, some brown stockings or something. And that's something I don't want to be a part of. Like, it's embarrassing for me to be around Do you speak Spanish? Here. I can speak Spanish, but I don't. So this is your brother? Yes. What do, you, what do you have to say about your brother? What I have to say about my brother would be that he's denying himself as a whole. He needs to learn how to accept himself just as I have accepted myself as being Mexican and black. And it's a beautiful thing because when people come up to me, they usually don't think I'm Mexican and black. I usually get Middle Eastern or something, but I quickly correct them and let them know I'm Mexican and black. And proud. <laughs> yes. One thing is he, um, your brother says that he treats his mother good. How do you think he treats your mom? He treats my mom with respect as a person. Like he said, he doesn't really look at her like she's Mexican, but the way he treats our family it's like when we have to go over there he's like oh we have to go see these mexicans and mm. i'm like i'm i feel kind of bad because that's an amazing part of our culture like yeah, he should part. want to experience that culture he doesn't really know anything about the mexican culture well your mother is here alicia is here this is your son this is your baby you you, you birthed him and he's saying he does not like the side of you that created him the side that you represent shall i say what does that make you feel like? Well, it really hurts me so bad. It hurt my feelings really bad because 
maybe because the way he looks, he doesn't look like Mexican and everybody just call him black boy. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why and it uh, really hurts me so bad because he just don't like to be a Mexican mm -hmm. and I always he just don't like to be around Mexicans, around my family. And it hurts me because he just don't like my mom at all. Okay, always he said, he, you know, he embarrassed. I know he loves me and I love him the way he is. Even the color he look, he's my son and I love him. But I just wish he can change his mentality and look that he's half and half. And that's a matter what people say. He should he shouldn't be proud of where he is because mm -hmm. I'm really proud of I'm full Mexican and I know my family doesn't speak English but I love my family the way they are the way they look because they are supposed to be because God created everybody the way they are Thank you. well first first I want to apologize because my intent wasn't to hurt you and it's not so much as me not being proud of who I am it's just that like majority rules, if the majority of them are acting this way, then that's what I see them as. Just like they said, the black people were ghetto. I don't blame them for saying that because the majority of us are ghetto. But so I don't, I don't, find, I don't see them as wrong as viewing that. And I'm so then, did you hate all of yourself then? No, I'm like, what is what is the point of you existing if you're going with the stereotype of a black person, the stereotype of a Mexican person? Then what is your worth at all? I don't really see myself as Mexican because I feel like this is what society handed me. They don't see me as Mexican. They see me as black. So that's the way I'm gonna. That's the way I'm gonna portray myself. If they want me to be black, then that's what I'll be. So if, like p people don't really usually see me. They don't say, "Oh." So if you did look more like your sister, who looks more mixed than you do, mm -hmm. then you would claim your the Latin part of your race. Of yeah, the I would be of your like blood? I would be proud, but I'm just I'm a typical dark black person. And people can't see that I'm mixed unless they're like, like even today, people were asking me where was my mother when she was standing right next to me. And what does that Are make you, you feel like? That? That's what I want to know. Are, you sound angry about mm -hmm. that. You, know, it you sound angry mm -hmm. that you have this other part of your culture which happens to be Mexican, but when people look at you, they see you as just an African American man. Mm -hmm. Are you upset about that? I mean, it's kind of offensive, like, I feel like people are being sort of ignorant to the fact that there are biracial people, like, you know, like, this can't possibly be my mother, mm -hmm. or like, if we're out, and, I, like, she'll be, like, we'll go to the movies, and somebody be like, can I get your mother with you, and, like, she's standing right here, so I feel like that's the way I have to be, because so that's the because, way society because is. they don't see your mother in you, it's made you angry, mm -hmm. and it hurts. What does it feel like when somebody is, is looking at you and looking at your mother and saying that that is not your mother? What does that make you feel like inside, in here? I feel like they're denying a part of me, so I've, like, kind of, they kind of push me into a corner where I have to deny myself in order mm -hmm. to make them happy. We'll be right back. Porque me han corrido de todos los colegios donde yo he estado. 